My name is Paula Clayton and I am currently a physiotherapist but my whole history has really been um, as a soft tissue therapist since 1994. Working with all of um, England teams, so England ladies hockey and men's hockey, England rugby ladies, uh, England football ladies. I have travelled to countless European championships, world championships, three Olympics including London. So over the years I've had lots of people ask me to show them techniques that I use and ask me why I've used them and that kind of led me on to kind of starting to teach workshops and primarily a lot of those workshops have been picked up by qualified therapists or they're a team that, like a national governing body um, have asked me to come in and do workshops or it's been in the premiership football for example and the number one choice of course from all of them has been can you cover the SIJ so I've written a book it's called Sacroiliac Joint Dysfunction and Piriformis Syndrome the complete guide for physical therapists people could come in with knee pain they could come in with shoulder pain they could come in with neck pain and it could be due to the fact that the pelvis isn't quite central and it's not quite where it's supposed to be. If it's slightly tilted or if it's slightly rotated, then every structure around it has to respond to that. And it, it's primarily there to kind of it, to distribute load. And, and if the load is not being distributed correctly, then what you have is you can have adaptations in other parts of the body. What's caused the knee pain? Is it because now the person's walking slightly differently because you've got parts of your structures that are now slightly shorter or slightly tighter or slightly too long um, or, or they're inhibited by pain or they're inhibited because, um, because of dysfunction? And then the body, when it's left in that state, starts to adapt because primarily you need to still be able to move, move forward. So it will find ways to help you move forward, but there's constant dysfunction. Um, and then over the time, people leave it and leave it and leave it. And all of a sudden, you know, they're now looking crooked as well. Because if your hip is up on one side and your ribs then move to kind of balance you over your centre of gravity and then your head moves to balance that over the centre of gravity and then your eyes always want to be level so now your neck's tilted. All of those problems and people, people are coming and go, I've got a sore neck, I don't know what's happened, I've got a sore neck. And without looking at all of these things as a whole and you just treat the structure that's they've come in, let's say it's a sore neck and let's say it's a sore knee, you're not going to get the results that you want. You're not. You're, you're, you're going to get frustrated. The people are going to keep coming back. Well, it's not really changed. My knee's still quite sore, and you're still battering away on the knee, and it's not making any difference. There's no, you know, there's, and then it's frustrating for you as a therapist, but also frustrating for the patient. And so sometimes when they've given you all that information, you're starting to build a picture, bring all these puzzle pieces in together, and you're thinking, hmm. And then you go and have a look at the pelvis and quite often, in my experience, there is an anomaly there. And by, by treating the structures that come into the pelvis that affect that, that compression that should be holding that SIJ where it should be, and by treating that, those fascial structures and those muscular structures, even the mechanical structures, by trying to influence those structures that are dysfunctional and trying to put them back to normal, um, reduces people's pain and reduces their dysfunction. For me, I've gone through years of getting resources from lots of different places. My aim was to try and put everything under one cover. The idea is that this is a resource that's on your table and you could just think, right, somebody's coming in with this. Just going to double check, see what, my, see what the assessments are, make sure I'm doing them right. It tells you how to, to assess and what clusters to use. It tells you how to assess for pain, how to assess for dysfunction. Then it goes into descriptions of what kind of things might the people be saying to you during their subjective questioning that might be going ding, ding, I'm thinking it might be that, so therefore I'm going to assess that. It's got a multitude of uh, treatment modalities in there. There's fascial techniques, there's soft tissue therapy techniques, there's, um, there's some massage techniques, there's mobilisation, there's manipulation, there's dry needling, there's dynamic taping, there's instrument assisted, so they're all in one book. So basically people can pick from their toolbox and decide which ones they use. And as, as the book says, and as I always say, you're not going to just throw the kitchen sink at them, you're going to assess, you're going to treat, you're going to reassess, and you're going to see if you need to have anything, add anything else. The techniques that I've chosen to put in this book are the ones I use on a daily basis and they're the ones that I get results with time and time and time again and I get, I get really good results. If I was just starting out 
this book would help me. That's the way I've written it. I've written it like I would want to buy it. If you are interested in buying this book, this book is available from both Amazon.co.uk and Amazon.com.